Joyce of you, welcome to the Coffee Pop. My name is Chishi Zed. Drink the coffee, it'll make you feel better. You know, there are a lot of people out here trying to help others understand things, avoid making mistakes they made in the past. People were really trying to help. But there's one particular message that it seems that regardless of how many times it gets introduced, people just don't want to accept the reality. Is that it's best for you to marry before you carry and to not commit to being a single mother and make that decision or mistake or at least prevent that as much as possible. Today we're going to be listening to a man serve some coffee and I do mean he's serving some black coffee. In response to a chick who tried to argue that having a baby is a bigger commitment than marriage. Right now we're looking at marriage without the kids or having a baby. Which one is the bigger commitment? No more wasting time. Let's get it. So I said, having a baby is a bigger commitment than marriage. And you told me, don't be delusional about the subject matter with your black. The commitment isn't that deep for most. Mm. So having a stranger raw isn't that deep. And how do you figure that most aren't paying child support for 18 years? What do you think back child support is called? Mm. What do you think getting your license suspended is called? Mm. What do you think going to jail because you haven't paid child support is called? Listen, I'm just going to let him brew. We're just going to let him brew the coffee. Check the description for his TikTok tag. He'll be in the description like everybody else. I'm trying to do that more often. Let's keep listening. What do you think not being able to get a passport because you haven't paid child support is called? Mm. Just because they don't give the money to you does not mean that they are not paying and obligated to pay child support. You know what? Maybe it was the way that I worded the last message, but let's do this. Okay. Let's take a third person point of view. This way we can really drive the message home. I am going to take the point of view of the baby daddy. And I'm going to tell you from his point of view exactly how you look. You gave right. up your market value because um, once you have a baby, you ain't the same no more. You low-key gave up your mind because uh, when I first met you, <laughs> you was cool. But now you some crazy ass part of mass. Saggy llama depressed ass. You gave up looking good because when I first met you, your hair was done, your nails was done, your body was tight, your perky. Now you look sleepy, you look tired. You don't never even do, you don't even keep yourself no more. Gave Mercy. up your mama and daddy because they told you not to and you still did because you loved me. So you gave up your dignity because uh, when I was cheating on you, you went and gave up your self-respect because you took me back. And then to prove a point, you let me get you pregnant. You gave me everything you had and I didn't even have to get on one knee. Whoa, whoa. You gave me everything you had, but I didn't even have to get on one knee. Wow. And ask you to be with me. F getting married to your I ain't even have to make you my fiance. A fiance ain't nothing but a glorified girlfriend. I ain't claim you in front of my friends, my family. I ain't go out and buy you no ring. I spend more on at Magic City on a random Monday night. Wow. I've ever spent on you during our entire relationship. You gave up all of that just for me to nut. You ain't even nut. <laughs> you gave up all of that. Didn't even nut. <laughs> and all I had to do was have an orgasm. Goofy, that nut ain't mean shit to me. Busting a nut is a basic male function. As a matter of fact, if you didn't pick up the phone when I had called you on the first ring like you did, that nut would have just went into that dirty wife beater that was on the floor. Stop it. Bro, is is this coffee or poetry? <laughs> it's beautiful. Ain't nobody manipulate you. You knew I didn't want that baby. You knew I was going to leave your... I ain't even asked you to be with me. I ain't even claim you like that. I didn't even give you a ring. I didn't do shit that would make you think that I really wanted you. Mm. Mm. You made that shit up in your head. And I don't feel bad either. You needed this. If you wasn't no mother, you wouldn't even feel like you was a woman. I made you. First thing you do when you talk about another, that thing got no kids. That, huh, yeah, she don't. But that's why I want to. You don't even look the same. Fat and shit. I gave you. You need it. I made you into a woman. 
I gave you that baby. You want to take them? <laughs> um, are you guys okay? Right? And I mean, to the chicks listening to this, I didn't know he was, I mean, he's getting in full character right now. Sheesh. The fraternity pictures, you tell him, you have my son, you got my first son. Oh, none of that. None of that. None of that. I'm leaving you in that. I made you a woman because until you became a mother, you didn't even feel like a woman. He can marry you and still be the same. You can be a married single mother. Don't get the shit twisted. My ex-wife is my ex-woman. I claimed her as my woman. I committed myself to my woman. Mm. Baby mama just a just a nutted in because she got there right before I nutted in some Kleenex. Learn the difference between a guarantee and a bare minimum. Stop asking a hundred dollars when he already told you that he ain't got 20 having mm. a baby is absolutely a bigger deal than marriage you just don't think you worth shit so you don't even recognize what you really gave up everything you thought it was was nothing more than what you wanted it to be you gave up all of that just for a to think of you as this Drink the coffee, it'll make you feel better. Wow. So now I ask you guys the same exact question. First of all, what did you think of his rebuttal, his response to that comment of it's not that big of a deal, it's not that big of an investment having a baby for most people? Did this change your mind if maybe you didn't see it that way? Or are you so stubborn that you still believe that having a child? And by the way, let me let me be really clear, because this is my opinion on this topic. This is especially true for women. If I had a daughter, I would do everything in my power to make sure she understands exactly this. She gets more affected than any man who decides to, 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 to have a kid with her, than any man who she may open herself to, than any man who she may decide to lay down with. Why do you think modern women today have such a difficult time accepting this truth? Why is it not a big deal for you to embrace single motherhood and so confidently avoid the, the, the very real reality that your whole life has been turned upside down once you have that child by a man who does not give an F about you. We're not talking about the men who are marrying these women. That's not who we're talking about. We're talking about the men who are out here reproducing with these women and they're willingly allowing them to do that because they're either proving a point they just think the man's fine or whatever someone please explain it make it make sense let's see what the people have to see of course as always we're going to check out some of the comments first comment here says well jesus that hurt me and it ain't even for me so this is probably a childless woman here and i think it's very good that if you hear this and you're on the fence about whether you're going to be a single mother or not, I'm all for not. Here's somebody else who says, this was an epic read. Somebody else here added, you gave me everything you had. So they were quoting him and I didn't even have to get on one knee. With the fire emojis, it goes on to say, I swear this is why I'd be looking at some girls very crazy. There are women out here who don't understand, but you know, I just don't think those chicks are keeping it real, even with their friends, right? A lot of chicks can't even be that honest, even within their friendships. Men who have daughters, men who value starting families, make sure you make this a cornerstone of understanding in your future daughters, wives. They need to know this. Somebody else here says, this hurt my feelings and I don't even have children. Another woman here says, damn, that point of view got me yelling. I'm embarrassed. I'm embarrassed and I don't even have a baby daddy. Somebody else here added, I need the young ones to really hear this man. 
Here's someone else who says, my dad sat me down and made me promise him that I would never become a baby mama. He was so serious. He told me it is the worst title a person could ever have. Never breaking that promise. Good father. And let me add this. If you're somebody who has made the mistake, you can change the way that you move forward, right? You can protect yourself from that happening again. The problem is people don't want to accept accountability and say, oh no, that was a mistake. And they want to live in this world of, I don't regret anything I've done in my past. We all make mistakes. I've made mistakes. We all make mistakes. We live and we learn. And you learn and you improve and you avoid making the same future mistakes. Here's another person that says you, I'm going to take the point of view of the baby daddy. Me, single, no children in a whole other country. Oh no, this is going to hurt. Here's somebody else who says, why don't they understand this? To the chick's surprise, like why are there chicks out here who just don't understand that it's a bigger commitment to have a baby than it is to have a man? I think society plays a huge role into this. There's more energy put towards shaming men and painting being a wife as being some type of shameful position than being a baby mama. There are people today who would rather be a baby mama than they would a pick me because, oh no, I'm not willing to dim my light, right? Cooperate with the man, play that submissive role, be feminine and, and build with the man and I'd rather do it by myself because they believe that is worse. Here's another comment that says, my parents were married, had me and my brother and got divorced. Again, pay attention to this one because I think this is a good one. My parents were married, had me and my brother and got divorced. I'm getting married next year and guess who still has to sit in the room together while they give me away. I hate this argument. So somebody else responded and says, sounds like he's still committed to being there for you. He's a father, not a baby daddy that just abandoned his kids, this commenter says, but the commenter didn't understand what she was trying to say. What she was trying to say is the following, and she clarifies it in her response. She said, his commitment to my mom made him devoted to me. He's a great father. I only say this to emphasize that children are definitely a bigger commitment than a marriage that yields no children. I heard this said a different way by an attorney who pretty much said, once you have kids, you can never truly completely divorce your significant other. You can never truly divorce them once you have kids because they'll always be there because you always be tied through the children that you have together. And that's how strong the presence in, of children and having those children in your life is. Here's another comment that says, this don't even apply to me, but I'm clutching my pearls. I'm married and I'm still looking at him sideways because Chad, dang. He's another person who says, OMG, this is so hurtful, but some people need to hear this. This commenter says, here's somebody else who says, I don't even got kids. And this was hard to hear. This was hard to hear. Yeah, definitely necessary though. Of course, make sure you go check them out. In the description, I have the link there. And if you're a man who values fatherhood and marriage in our modern day, click that link into the top of the comment section and consider joining Brew Brothers. Listen, I appreciate you checking out yet another episode of The Coffee Pod. Till next time, I'm out. Peace.